All right, welcome back to Fast Break, everybody. Uh, I hope you are enjoying our time together, because I certainly am. And um, we're going to go fight the police, you know? Because, like, I don't know if they were always, like, this messed up or if Gygus corrupted them, because they're not, like, blue or anything. Most, like, humans that are really, like, messed up in the head by Gygus, like, have that... They're all blue or red or, like, various colors. <clears throat> and they don't seem to have much of an influence. They just kind of let things out. So I don't know if they were always, like, just genuinely this messed up or if they were, uh... Be controlled by giant. By Gygus, not giant. Now you listen here. Don't enter means that. Do not enter. Did you got that? And furthermore, blah, 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 blah. It's usually tax evaders who blah, 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 blah. We don't really enjoy blocking off roads, you know. Blah, 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 blah. It's usually the local whiners that make a big deal about emergencies and meteorites. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, and what about you, my pleasant individual? Emergency, of course. At times like this, kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. Anyways, are you sure you want to go to Tucson? Yes. Well, then perhaps you should crawl, just crawl back to your shack, little mister. Oh, I think I pressed the wrong button. Okay. <laughs> Follow me. Yeah, dude, nothing suspicious going on here, man. Nothing suspicious at all! Show me what you got. See if you can get past five of my best men. Yeah! Hey, small friend. You must be shaking in your boots. Dude, holy shit, man. It's messed up, but... Alright, so I'm gonna... Take the goods and... Oh yeah, I don't have anything. So, uh... Ah! Yeah. Just for shits and giggles, because I don't think that there's... Actually, you know what? I'm afraid that he's gonna try to use PSI. Yeah. Apparently, police academies and all that suck, because just beating up a bunch of local dogs and slugs and shit makes you more powerful than a regular police officer. You're tough. You should join the police force. Your average previous band is stronger than any superhero. Yeah, I doubt that. Yeah. Because you guys really suck. Dad, the cop is dead. East. Don't let the mayor's compliments give you a bring it. Bring it on, fat boy. Okay, you know that that was just a cheap shot. I am not a jerk. I am obese though. And actually, you know we're gonna use goods. I'm gonna have a hamburger. I'll take the hamburger. I'll recover 47. The cop is attacking. 10 HP of damage to all. Okay, dash. Yeah. 26 HP of damage to all. Cop turned back to normal. Oh, Kayla. Cool, thanks. Didn't even know. Let's do this again sometime. Next time, I'll take you out with my nuclear suplex attack. Why are you so brutal to me? Is this how they... Attack everybody? Is this like the new order? They kill people over fucking... Like, uh, minor penalties? Hey, yeah, plug in the new order again. Play that fucking game. That's it, buddy. You can forget about me. I'm gonna call him for my bus. That's awesome. There's no way I can beat you in a straight competition, so get ready for my Super Ultra Mambo Tango for Foxtrot Martial Arts. Okay, dude. Countdown. 
Um, get ready for my seizure warning! And get ready for more of my seizure warnings! Oh, wow, that was easy. Worst police force ever. <laughs> you didn't think you would do so well against the mighty on that police force. You want me to open? For a sec. Alright, beep, beep, click. <laughs> Strawn here, don't you, re you read me? <laughs> hey! It's me, Captain Strawn. Okay, listen, a kid named Walt will be here in a few minutes. He's a kid in a red cap. I want you to open the road for two. Tucson for him. I know that. I know that. Don't ask me why. Just do it. That's an order. Strawn out. Str well, kid, I'm not gonna question you now, but I do want to see you again. Good luck. You didn't even get one hit on me. I completely owned you. I should probably be. Well, at least I have a job after this, man. This game's called Earthbound. That's why we love it. And if you don't like it, then you can shove it. And I love this song. I know I can't sing along because I can't hear it. And it is stuck in my head. Alrighty then. So, I'm gonna go save my game at the drugstore and then. Go out to say goodbye to my mom. I'm gonna have to kiss and who the fuck is this guy? He was not there before. I forget who he was. I think he. Oh yeah, sorry. You don't use the phone. Actually, you know what? No. Thank you very much. I can make it all the way up there. I'm not worried about shit, man. And I made up my mind. Yeah, you want to know how to drive Joe crazy? Play that song. I'm dead serious. Joe despises that song more than anything in the world. So if you ever see him in public, play Here I Go Again in like top last. He'll like cave in in like four minutes. Like... Some fire and scoot up to bed. This game's good. All right, so now we are actually going to leave on that. I know, right? It took us forever to do so. But we finally did it! You know, we are going to Tucson. Well, Dad, I just bought a Where would you spend? Uh, well, anyway, what do you need for me to record? Hold on. Your old dad was also thinking about hitting the hay. So I, I have created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night, sleep tight. Why did you get to? Mm hmm. I keep saying the same thing over and over again. It takes forever. Could you say, hey, saving your game. Bye, son, love ya. But nope. Goes on this ridiculously long winded speech every single time you want to save. You know, alright, so let's talk to Tracy. I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. You might get hungry in the way. So here's a cookie. No, cookies are not useful to me, Tracy. They're only worth like 6 HP. So we're heading on our way to Tucson. Tucson. 
Oh, I just realized. On it, two, seven, three, one, two, three. Ha, huh, that's clever. You know, Winters is kind of a combo breaker. But it is the fourth season of the year. Well, yeah, the fourth season of the year, I guess. Like, I know, it's like a very exciting thing to see me not go up this hill again for like the seventh millionth time. We are on our way to Tucson. I know, like, I, I remember this game being a fuckload shorter than it was. Okay, well, well, I got the okay from Chief trying to let you through. Take care of yourself. Check yourself before you wreck yourself, man. Alright, so I got these fuckers running away from me, and I don't know if they're mushrooms or not, so I'm not gonna fucking fight them. It's not worth my time. I need this guy. Please take me so long. He may look like a regular small mass, but he can lead you to an exit if you're lost in a maze. Will you take one of my... Well, yes. Understand that you don't need any money for this. Oh, I didn't take Please take my saddle on. He may look like a regular small boss, but he can lead you to it. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting the whole side button instead of bottom button thing. Treat him as one of your items. Go. Alright, so. You know, so far we're doing pretty good for time. I thought the police thing was going to take a while longer. I'm not going to challenge these bugs. Oh, no. No. Those things. Those things are straight out of my worst nightmares. Hate them. I'll take some. Hate those fucking mushrooms, man. They will completely fuck your interface, man. Oh, Herdy and Tucson? Not an enemy, I'm just a friendly mole. I'll tell you how to distinguish between your friends and enemies. It's easy to tell an enemy just by looking at them. Enemies look like humans with weird colored faces. Beware of them. However, you can't get more powerful if you avoid your enemies. That's true, man, but you haven't seen those fucking mushrooms. They are, like, horrifying. And you don't want to approach them, you don't want to deal with them, you don't want to reason with them. They will hunt you down, they will make your life a living hell. No, not him! Pictures taking instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius of identities on myself. Shut up and take the picture! God, I hate this guy. Bring back the fondest of memories. Yeah, for you, not for me. My memories of this photograph will be, oh shit, I had to wait forever just to fucking take a photo. What is with everybody making a lot of winded speech before they do anything? Please run. Action. Please enter the amount of your withdrawal. Oh shit. Go to the automatic teller machine. Please select. Fifty-two bucks, please take your cash. Dad, well, it's your dad. I deposited four bucks into your bank account. Take away what you spent, you should now have one thousand seven hundred and fifty. I need you to record, and I need you. Please, don't fucking do that. How many times do you need to hit the hay for the night? God, you must have some serious sleep deprivation, Dad. Welcome to ho to the hotel, Tucson. Such a lovely place. Such a lovely place. Such a lovely place. 
Welcome to the Hotel California. I'm gonna buy some shit, gonna buy some shit. Oh wait, I can't sing. Forgot. Oh wait, nobody's gonna see this video, so I can't sing. Such a lovely place. Oh wait, I'm a horrible singer, so I'm not gonna sing. This is the cycle shit. Puncture. Oh, I, I just got that pun. <laughs> That's awesome. It's a lot faster than walking. You'll be really popular with the biking crowd. You want a bicycle? Yeah, sure, why not? You only have Reynolds. Want a run one? Yeah, sure. Really like your street for a style. Tell you what, I'll let you borrow a bike for free. You have too many items. Why don't you get rid of something and come back? I know you want it now, but my hands are tied. Okay, man, you seem like a reasonable and nice individual, man. You are never gonna get a job in politics because of that. Uh, okay, so... What we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to find a local store. I'm gonna upgrade my shit. My Shatsky uh, department store. So yeah, it's the first department store. It's not like the drug store. It's a lot bigger. There's a lot more stuff to do. Um, this guy, I believe he tells you, you know, call your mom every once in a while. But I just talked to her like three minutes ago. So I'm not, I don't have any chance of being home. So like, you should call your mom sometime. Believe me. Those melancholy feelings will be gone before you know it. Yeah, I know. This place is, music is way less catchier, man. This sucks compared to on that. I'm just joking. Department stories and credit. I like that. I like that too. It's pretty re I like you. You guys are cool. I hope that didn't lag, because that's annoying to edit, and there's like nothing I can do about that. Oh wait, I don't have any. It's good. Please stop by again. So Oh crap, I'm just gonna take all the money, all of the money, and then I'm gonna see if I can buy some. We're gonna need bats and lots of cold remedies. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Okay. Please take your cash. You Greedy fuck. Yeah. Remember when you got a thousand? <laughs> Again. Be fucking costly for the 90s. I don't need anything in the bakery or the burger town. I need shit from drugstores. <laughs> Gotta cook. Alright, we're gonna talk to this guy. Well, hello there. How may I help you? Please. Oh, yeah. Very annoying. Slingshot. Oh no, that's not very useful. Slingshot barely helps you, so. Alright, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Is I have to call. I have to call the fucks their faces name anyway. I have to call Escargo Express. I'm gonna deposit some burgers. I'm gonna buy some cold remedies. I'm gonna go kick some people's ass, grind a couple levels, and then. We will go to the Valley of Awful. <laughs> All right, so I picked up the receiver. S Cargo Express. S Cargo Express. Hello, this is S Cargo Express. So you won't, big bro. But it's me, Tracy. I'm working part time for S Cargo Express. What can I do for you? Pick up my shit, Tracy. Send somebody over immediately to pick it up. This is one of the coolest features in any game ever. You don't have to drop your items anymore. You have stuff that's pretty useful in this level for later levels, but it's just taking up too much room right now. You can just deposit it to Escargo Express. That is genius. I'm dead serious. I love it. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll give her the bill right. Take up the three things. I need you to take my hamburgers. Uh, actually, I'm gonna need you to take two hamburgers and my exit mouse. Yes. What do you want me to take? I need you to take my exit mouse. I don't need them right now. And my hamburger. 
I'm ready to make the hamburger, the exit mask, and the hamburger. Fucking, again, brilliant design. Like, just in case you made a fuck up and you want to just think it over, you can just go back. That is just, I've never seen anything like that in any RPG ever before or since. Even like some of the great ones like Final Fantasy X and Persona 4 don't even have features like that. I think the only other RPG that had a storage system like that was Borderlands, but most of those were for guns that you couldn't use until hours later, and you couldn't really store any other key items, but even then, you know, it's still similar. I'll give it that. You know, um... What we're gonna do is, we're gonna save... Oh, the Trinidad Rolex XP. Court. Hold on, your dear old dad was also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I have... Why do they say the same things over and over again? That is... Like... Earthbound has aged very well, and it's also aged very poorly in... In many aspects. You know what I mean? Is that it has, like... A lot of cool design choices that has been in RPGs before since, and then it also has some really grindy, asinine choices, like the save feature taking forever. You know? Unfortunately, you don't have any more bikes for sale. Only have rentals. Want to rent? Fun? You like your straightforward style. Tell you what, I'll let you borrow a bike for free. Well, it's got the bicycle. You know what, two people can't ride on one bicycle, so of course three or four people on a bike would be impossible. You would also you can't ride a bike with anything following you. Teddy bears, for example, carrying a bear and riding is impossible for you. Don't even think about riding a bike into a cave. Yeah, they're kind of useless, but hey, it's fun and it's free. And this is just you got your like this was just put there purely for fun. Like this was not. Walt rode the bicycle, and you could, it's the only function that the R button has in the game is that you can go faster. Not that it does much, but look at how happy he is! That's awesome! I didn't even notice that when I first played this game. He's fucking having the time of his life! It's like the only time Nessa's spray ever smiles. It's weird and it's just adorable. It's just adorable. You know? Ah, this is mostly used for making rides from Tucson to on that a lot less tedious in this portion of the game. I'm not sure if you can ride the bike on the grass. No, you cannot. You can't ride on the dirt. It's a street bike, and it doesn't do much besides, you know, casually annoy pedestrians, but, you know, it's still something. Got off the bike. You could get off of it in one. Okay, let's beat up some hippies. Me and Libby tell you, Jimmy Carter was an amazing president. Shut up, hippie! Shh. That'll get you a job, you piece of shit. Okay. Weirdly designed place. I don't know, I... Tucson design-wise is pretty forgettable, and I don't like the color palette. It's very dull, you know? I think maybe that's supposed to be kind of representing that this is like the furthest like Ness has really been for home, and it feels so different for him. It's not as fun for him. You know, everything's much bleaker, and he doesn't know where he's going. Or, you know, just maybe they didn't really make much of an aesthetic change, and they just made it very... Don't look at it. It looks like somebody pissed on the lines. I'm sorry, but it does. Just because I love this game does not mean I can't criticize it. You know, and one thing that I do hate about this game and its fan base and the other games of the Mother series besides the first one is that they've kind of garnered this immunity from criticism. You're not allowed to talk shit about it, even though there are aspects of it that aren't perfect. I mean, come on, no game has perfect design elements. You know, there's always going to be one part that maybe feels unfair or a little needless or annoying, but... You know, shit happens. So I'm going to talk to this dude. 
<laughs> wow, chat later after you leave locked horns. Okay, wow. It's like the Matrix, man. Everybody wants to fight. Like, dude, I have a baseball bat and superpowers. Why do you people continue to fuck with me? You know? Jesus Christ, you're the dumbest fucks around. Oh, you motherfucker. Another cool feature is that you got your smash and let's double. Paralysis A. Okay, that's gonna be useful for Mondo Mole. Yes, I'm Evan Dread. Paralysis of Berglin Park. Okay, that's not trustworthy. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyways, I lost and nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know that you want to find out about a girl named Lacey. Yeah, I know I'm pretty strong and I want to find out about a girl named Lacey. I am fucking psychic! <laughs> Did you motherfuckers ever watch Chronicle? Don't fuck with the only person in this entire place that has fucking superpowers! Oh. Oh, oh god. They were definitely hardcore strange. Better hurry. If you save Lacey, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. Yeah, I'm gonna give you peace of my mind, you dumb motherfucker. Let's see. If you save Lacey, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. I won't, you fucking hippie. I won't. And we're just gonna save here, because I don't think I can survive another fuck part fight and if I run into one I would be F U C K E E D fucked Chaos Theater oh, Runaway Five those guys are awesome We will talk about what their deal is later Yeah it's weird the contrast of the time you spend in Tucson and the time you spend in on that. Like, and on that, you spend like a good at least two hours on that. You don't spend too much time in Tucson. You basically, you beat up that dude, you go to the valley of your doom, and then once you go to that weird cold place, you just come back with Paula and then you spend like two more seconds there. It is the shortest time you spend in any level, like in any of the main towns of the game. That's what I remember. Like, there's not a lot to do here in the party zone. Two, son. Like, in three, three is also a short mission. You know, but it's a lot longer than two, son. You spend forever in Foresight. I remember that. There's like seven missions in Foresight. And... You go to winners a couple times. Remember that too. If you count, I guess if you count the the fucking the blue Colt Valley thing, you spend some more time in Tucson. But you know, even then, still. All right, you know, um, with forty nine seconds. On the clock, I think I'm gonna stop here, but I will see you guys.